I'm about to do the unthinkable. Defend the judges. I think uh, Jack won pretty handily. And, and uh, you know, while, while, during the stream, I was saying that the whole time he was getting clapped up, slapped up, and trapped up because he was setting up traps for Josh Taylor, and Josh Taylor was walking right into him. Yeah. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and GM. Praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So we have a few things we want to talk about for the last fights that transpired yesterday. Um, of course, we go, we, we, we go save the Jack Catcherall versus Josh Taylor rematch <laughs> for last because y'all going to be mad at me, boy. I'm about to do the unthinkable. Defend the judges. <laughs> But you know, I, 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 I ain't no stranger to, 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 to confrontation and, uh, and, and people being on my head top because of my opinions. But um, so, yeah, first off, we're going to start off with uh, C4 Chef. You know, C4 Chef did his thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was fighting Ellis Zorro, who put up a good fight. You know, Ellis Zorro uh, coming off of one round KO, a first round KO to um, KO loss to uh, Jay Apatai. Uh, last time we seen him, and I think that Chef, uh, uh, Chef Clark, he he looked good. But in my opinion, he came out um, looking for the knockout. You know, he came out head hunting, and um, I thought that's why he looked a little sloppy initially. But then he, he calmed down and and he got the job done. You know, what I'm saying uh, I don't remember what round was it, sixth round or eighth round KO. But uh, yeah, he uh, he definitely stopped uh, El Zorro in a good fight. And then um, later on that night, we're gonna skip ahead. We had Christian and Billy on his little homecoming, um, his homecoming bout. Um, in, in, in in Canada, and uh, you know the Frenchman did good. Uh, Thirty second first round knockout. You can't really ask for more than that, right? So um, so he he did he did this thing. Um, wasn't too competitive, but you know the, the opponent Mark Heffron, he tried. <laughs> you know as much as he could, but you know it was a homecoming fight. You know, so um, uh, Christian and Billy, the 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 major contender in one sixty eight pound division, he did what he was supposed to do, and there was nothing much there to see. You know, uh, uh, first round KO by him. Now let's get to uh, the ex exciting and interesting part. Um, so we had uh, Jack Catterall versus Josh Taylor. You know, a lot of people thought the first fight was controversial. They thought Jack Catterall won. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was a little controversial. You know, Jack Catterall knocked down Josh Taylor, and he was deducting the point. Um, that wasn't really necessary, in my opinion. So um, yeah, I, I could see how Jack Catterall won. You know, so that led up some controversy. So naturally, people are gonna still be holding on to the controversial, you know, notion and mentality going into this fight. I didn't think this fight was controversial at all. You know, you know, I, I, I um, you know, two of the judges had a one seventeen, one eleven. The other judge had a one sixteen, one thirteen. All for, uh, all for Jack Catterall unanimously. And I thought that was the right decision. You know. The right person won, in my opinion. And, you know, this is where y'all about to be mad at me. Because I not only did I think it was the right decision, I agree with the 117-111 scorecard. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. In fact, me and one, myself and one of the judges had the same exact scorecard. You know, he given Josh Taylor three rounds, the seventh and the eighth. And, but the only difference is I gave Josh Taylor the third. And, but the third was very close and it was one of my swing rounds and and the judge gave Josh Taylor the second so we had one round difference but we had the same we had the same uh, 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 point differential you know 117 111 now I know a lot of people disagree with that but like I said I had four swing rounds I, I had four rounds that are very close meaning in my in my um in my estimation that, that they could have went either way so if you give those rounds to Josh Taylor then it changes the scorecard significantly however Jack Catterall will still win now I can understand some people say Josh Taylor won because he was the aggressor he was the aggressor the majority of the fight you know um but jack catterall dominated him how by countering him you know it's not just about being aggressive it's about effective aggression you know and i feel like josh taylor was um he didn't make any adjustments he was coming forward in a straight line and jack catterall was countering him now my only gripe with jack catterall was that in my opinion you coming off the last time you fought this man last time you fought josh taylor it was a controversial loss for you you felt like it was controversial you felt like you got robbed by the judges so in my opinion wouldn't you have the mentality to to be more urgent? So my my knock on uh on, on Jack was that 
he fought a good fight, but he didn't fight with any urgency. Like, why wouldn't you, when you hurt Josh Taylor, which he did hurt him multiple times, why wouldn't you step on the gas and try to be more, you know, win definitively instead of seeming like you were comfortable with allowing it to go to the scorecards again? So that, that's my only issue with Jack. I felt like he um, he was too comfortable letting it go to the scorecards. And not say that you had to knock him out, but I feel like he did. Every time he hurt Josh, he, um, he kind of chilled back and he kind of coasted. So I felt like that was a bad decision by him, but it worked out. He got the win. So I feel like he was counter punching. He was a better boxer the whole night he outskilled him he looked like he outclassed him and yes josh taylor was aggressive but he wasn't it wasn't effective aggression and he didn't change and jack catterall was just countering him all night and i and and, and maybe I, I was fond of his game plan because that's how i thought jack, jack catterall would win by outboxing him and countering and that's what he did so you know uh, i was impressed with jack catterall however like i said um the, the lack of urgency I didn't like and and sometimes he would he would take breaks in between the action I feel like yes that's enough to beat Josh Taylor but it's funny because during the live stream I said that uh even though I think Teofimo Lopez is the best at 140 uh, currently you know he had he has some shaky performances of, of course against Jermaine Ortiz and against uh Sandor Martin and, and Ken Bosa's you know where he lost but I will say that stylistically you know styles make fights I feel like Esau Pitbull Cruz is not a good matchup for Jack I think he beats Jack yeah uh, quite easily, uh, I think. I think uh, Subaru Matias is not a good matchup for Jack Catterall. I think Subaru Matias beats him quite easily too. Yeah, he probably gets him out of there early. I say like within five or six rounds. But I think that stylistically, even though I believe Teal is the best in that division, I think Jack, Jack Catterall matches up against Teal Fimo. Uh, uh, um, the most evenly. I still think Teofimo would win, but I said that during the live stream yesterday, and that's just funny because, um, you know, uh, during the post presser, you know, Eddie Hearn and, and Jack Catterall said they want Teofimo Lopez next, and I think because they see the same thing that I see, even though I, even though the difference is I think Teofimo would still win, but I think I do think stylistically he matches up with Teofimo the best, you know. Um, but yeah, so I, I I didn't think that um I didn't think during the live stream, you know, watching it live, I I, I didn't go back and watch the fight again, uh, Jack Catterall and and Josh. Taylor too, but I think I think I think uh, Jack won ha pretty handily, and and um, you know while, while during the stream I was saying that the whole time he was getting clapped up, slapped up, and trapped up because he was setting up traps for Josh Taylor, and Josh Taylor was walking right into him. So I'm cool with it, and you know say so y'all let me know what y'all have. Um, on the scorecards, don't just say nothing. Nothing as simple as "Oh, Josh Taylor should have won," or 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 Jack K or Jack Catterall he won, but not by such a wide margin. No, add some specificity, man. Let me know exactly what your scorecards are, so then we can compare. We can talk about it, man, because I'm interested. You know, I'm not saying that I'm right, because some people on my channel said it was a very close fight. Some people even had it a draw, so I'm I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, with the disagreement, you know. Let's, let's let's just talk about it. And then also, lastly, too, I want to say, um, dang, what was I going to say? I was going to say, oh, yeah, shout out to Josh Taylor. Shout out to Josh Taylor. He was very uh, humble. You know, he showed humility. He was like, yeah, he thought that um, uh, Jack Taylor, he, he, he gave respect to Jack, J Jack Taylor. Jack Catterall, I always mix up the name, Josh Catterall and Jack Jack Taylor. Uh, Josh Taylor said that Jack Catterall um, ha had a better night. He said that he thought he did enough to um, to get the victory by a slim margin. But he said, you know, shout out to Jack Catterall. He wants to do a trilogy. And I, I'm cool with that. I, I like to see a trilogy. You know what I'm saying? Even though the first one, a lot of people say that Jack won uh, on paper, Josh won. So it's one on one. Why not do a trilogy? You know what I'm saying? Not saying they have to do it immediately, but why not do it down the line? I think Jack will win again. But yeah, appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Remember with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.